hey loves welcome back to my channel for another video i am kalisha if you are new and in today's video we are discussing what i think are some common struggles that all singles face and personally my biggest struggles while i have been single Now, this is part five and the final video to my not only single but set aside series. So before we dive into today's video, I do encourage you to go back and watch those videos. I've shared some very insightful tips and knowledge for your season single and why I refer to being single as being set aside. God has intentionally set us aside so that we have undivided devotion to him and his plans for us. So I do encourage you all to use this time wisely. But before I get to rambling, just please go check those videos out and we're just gonna hop right into today's video. Whether you found yourself set aside intentionally or unintentionally, there's a lot of emotional and mental challenges that come along during this season. Being prepared is just half the battle. It's being informed of what we may face so we can meet these challenges head on and deal with them directly. So let's just get into the first very common struggle, one of my personal struggles, and that is fighting loneliness. I know y'all feel me on this. Like, I just feel like we are just wired for connection. You know, God wants us to have healthy relationships, not only romantic, but in friendships, in any kind of relation we may find ourselves in with the people around us. He wants it to be healthy and he wants us to connect. We just have this intense desire for companionship you know whether it be physical or emotional and not getting that daily dose of touch or affection can leave you feeling really lonely and in these moments of loneliness we can find ourselves making some very poor decisions you know getting back with an ex or leading people on or one night stands or casual sex casual and serial dating you know um just poor decisions acting out of loneliness is not a good idea we get so caught up in wanting this love and affection from a romantic companionship that we forget that affection is all around us our friends our family our co-workers our supporters you know a good hug or a girl's night can go a long way and that's what I've been doing I've been having intentional girl time with my single friends and even my friends that are already in relationship I've just been surrounding myself with love and support from the people that I already have and I promise it's been fulfilling me in ways that you can't even imagine. The second common struggle is outside pressures causing comparison. Oh my goodness and we know that God says comparison is the thief of joy and I just have to use this time to talk about the influence that social media has on relationships and how we try and pride our relationships or what we want our relationships to look like or be like off of what we see on social media and guys those are just pictures you know we we don't really know their lives okay we don't really know every single detail so i wouldn't have these relationship goals um attached to these internet couples you know that you don't really know that any could all be a facade another one is just that biological time clock that we seem to have programmed in my head oh my god i'm about to be 30 i ain't got a man i ain't got no baby i ain't did nothing i ain't just let societal's rules or regulations and pressures just go in one ear and out the other your life is your life think about playing a game of cards you know if everybody was dealt the exact same playing cards in their hand like what kind of game would it be you know that's the same thing in life if we were all dealt the same hand in the from the beginning to the end what kind of life would we be living like really think about that so there's no need in comparing yourself to another because you weren't dealt the same hand you didn't grow up the same you didn't have the same schooling education parenting you've had nothing alike you are unique to you so your timeline is gonna look nothing like somebody else's and your relationship is gonna look nothing like anybody else's 
You shape your reality and you create the relationship that you desire. No one else can do that for you, but God, of course. <laughs> and we learned in part two of this series that being single is an advantage. You have time to really go inward, dig deep, and fix the parts of yourself that you think need improvement so that when God does send your kingdom man or woman, you are ready. You are your best version of yourself. The third common struggle is being the third wheel. I know everyone has been that third wheel before. I know I ain't the only one. That can be awkward, y'all. You know, in some of these times, it's unintentional. You know, I have this one friend that every time she invites me to something, I'm like, is it all couples there? Because <laughs> I'm not trying to be the only single in the building. It's awkward, it's uncomfortable. But sometimes when I find myself in that space um, of being the oddball out, you can really use that time to observe the couples in the room, you know, not compare, don't get me wrong, but observe, you know, really say, what are some qualities in their relationship that I like? What are some qualities that I don't want? And just really figure out what you do and do not want in your relationship when that time comes. But if you can avoid these situations, I would. It's wise to hang out with like-minded singles so that you can just experience the freedom in it. You can support and uplift one another and just set some common goals or some new goals to focus on. The fourth struggle is practicing patience. O-M-G. Patience is no one's favorite habit, okay? I know I lack patience tremendously with just about anything in life. Like, I just don't like waiting. Like, what I gotta wait for, you know? So, <laughs> but God has really been dealing with me in this time saying, you just gotta be patient because I'm gonna do better for you than you ever could, you know? So it's just tapping into that um, trust and letting God go out there and do the work for me instead of me trying to hand pick somebody that I think is worthy or somebody that I think I'm compatible with, you know? Why not sit and practice patience and just wait on, wait on God to do it? Cause he gonna do it right. And don't get me wrong, it's easier said than done. I'm sitting here on this video and just talking and rambling, but waiting for anything in life is just not easy you know you just never know when it's gonna happen you don't know how long you're gonna be waiting so in that space of course redirect your focus make some new short-term goals that you know you can accomplish that'll give you a sense of control in a sense um but of course make sure those goals align with god's will for you and then they will be attainable but um yeah just redirect your focus because you know waiting is just not fun it's, it's not easy and it's not fun you know so if we have something to do in the meanwhile it kind of takes our mind off of what we're really really wanting the final struggle for the sake of this video because there's plenty others but the final struggle and my biggest struggle personally is staying pure and you know while actually being like completely single no companionship i would have to say it's been pre it's been pretty easy you know it's those times where i found myself actually trying to date that it becomes harder for me to remain pure. Um, and I'm speaking about purity in the form of um, sexual immorality, you know? Most people think, oh, I'm single, I can just please myself. That is still a sin against your body. It's still a sin according to God, any form of sex, you know, even watching pornography, you know, all of that is a sin. So um just remaining completely pure is a challenge and some things i try to do to fight the urge is to set boundaries i've made a whole video about this so be sure to check that out also being aware of what i'm listening to and what i'm watching you know does this romantic tv show have me lusting after a guy um does this song I listen to have me wanna do things I'm not supposed to do or think about things I'm not supposed to think about? Because so is a man thinks, so is he. And things that you constantly think on, you ultimately end up doing. And some tips I have to say, you know, just, you know, really focusing on God, reading the Bible, reading his word, because the closer you come with God, you just have this new desire to remain pure and to 
realize that your body is a temple and that you should be um, protecting your space, protecting your energy for Christ that lives within you. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, also having a prayer life, like really giving all of your casting all of your cares onto god and just letting him know exactly what you're struggling with because he wants to bear that weight for you he doesn't want you to try and do it all by yourself he wants to help so if you just have those genuine open conversation with him and say lord look i'm struggling in this arena staying pure and i want to stay pure give me ways to stay pure just help me just cleanse my mind give me a um give me new thoughts give me pure thoughts and i just i just believe he'll do just that for you god calls us to a life of purity when we are walking as new believers and you know he was the perfect example of being single his whole life 33 years he was single he was devoted to one purpose and that was to die on the cross for our sins and he remained pure because he set boundaries he had a goal and he stayed away from distractions you know jesus did it he's the perfect and only example we should be trying to strive and follow so i think that the more we get into our word and the more we become closer to Jesus that we'll be able to remain pure and get through all of these common struggles that we will face as a single. That concludes the five challenges I've been facing during my season of being set aside and now I want to hear from you in the comments. What have been your biggest struggles during this time in your life? I'm very curious to hear them. I'm sure they're probably some of the ones I mentioned but if not comment them down below because maybe we can relate sis <laughs> maybe we can relate if you all have enjoyed this series not only single but set aside give this video a thumbs up be encouraged and remember that god loves you he has not forgotten about you he just wants some time with you to really focus on him and being the person that he desires you to be so that if it is in his will that he sends you a partner that you'll just be your very best self for that relationship and that you all can work together to advance God's kingdom. I hope this series has been just as much as a blessing to you all as it has been to me. I've thoroughly enjoyed sitting down creating this content for you all and I promise I've been preaching to the choir because I've needed it just as much as I'm sure that you have because you're watching this. So if you have loved this series, be sure to subscribe. We have some more very good series coming, some very good topics we're gonna be touching on. And next week's video is pretty interesting. So you may want to turn on your post notifications right now so that you don't miss that upload. Thank you all for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye loves.